All right, well, no, you ready? I'm ready. Let's get cracking. <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Yeah, wall knoll take two. <laughs> we're gonna try it again. <laughs> try it again. And it, and, yeah, four good tires <laughs> we're and, and we're set. Yeah, we had abandoned uh, yesterday's uh, trip. Uh, I got a flat tire and no way I wanted to go anywhere on that stupid donut. So, um, after we got it changed, then, uh, we were, I had to go, uh, I don't know, about 65 miles away to get a set of new tires because I destroyed one and, uh, the other ones are about to go and on a all wheel drive like that, you don't want to replace just one. So anyway, we are off to wall no. So let's get cracking. All right. Wall no, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> So we came from down there in that valley. We came up to this little saddle here and then Dale and I are headed up the summit right in front of us. So it's a pretty quick little hike. Uh, we're at over 9,600 feet, so we're kind of breathing for sure. Uh, it's steeper than it looks. Okay, uh, this is gonna be the, my view from my shack this morning. It's uh, 20 to nine. So uh, let's get on the air and see if we can't uh, work Europe or something here. So I'm gonna turn this around, sync up the radios, I'll sync up the audio and get cracking here. point out is Dale's got his telescoping pole but the cool thing is he just has it anchored into his backpack sitting on the ground going into the sleeve in the backpack that's brilliant <laughs> there's, there's no tying it down or anything else I like easy yeah that's pretty cool how many contacts do you think you got eh, probably 25 or so 30 I don't know. yeah I'm, I think I'm about the same range just a few summit to summit so yeah if when I go back up there I'm gonna check online one more time for a summit to summit then we'll pack up okay. we're gonna head out we're gonna go is it antelope peak? Antelope. Yeah. yeah antelope mountain antelope peak oh, thank you. yeah it's just on the other side of the highway over there can we even see it from here dale i think it's north it may be that one northeast of us right yeah a kind of flat one over there yeah so that's a good climb it is i mean it's it's It'll be it doesn't look bad but it's hard <laughs> yeah, it keeps going yeah so but it's only what a half mile or something hike yeah, so bad. all right well let's get cracking here get get another summit to summit and we're out of here
I was up here, there was people everywhere. I know. Well, it's it's the calm before the storm. Three day weekend coming up. Yeah. Um, we just finished Wall Knoll, and we're gonna head over to Antelope. Um, hopefully without any, you know, punctured tires. <laughs> so, I got around 20 something contacts. I think uh, Dale did about the same. We got a few uh, summit to summits. I think I had 10 summit to summits in there. If I remember right, it's a lot more than I thought. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was fun out there today. Beautiful weather. So I'm definitely going to put on some sunscreen. We're going to get torched on that next hill. There's not, well, there's one place you can sit in the shade there. If you work it's it out hard, right. So, yeah. so, all right. Well, anyway, enough cracking. Let's get, <laughs> enough cracking. Let's get yakking. Is that, did I get that right? No. Where are we headed? Antelope Mountain. All right. Looks like that right there. Yeah. We got to go through that cow to get up there. Now the interesting thing about this is it doesn't look steep, but it's steep as hell. Uh, what we can do is take the road. We could have driven a little bit closer to it, but we felt like hiking. We're currently at 8378 right now. We're going to climb at least 200 feet up that thing in a quarter mile. It's, if you go straight up it. So anyway, yeah, it's activation number two for today. And uh, then it'll be beer 30 and a sandwich. Yeah. We could go straight up. I think I'll take the road a little bit farther. Yeah, we've climbed almost 300 feet so far. Um, how many miles we got? 0.86. Pretty big activation zone here. According to Soda Goat, I'm in. Um, Dale's gonna go up there to tippy top. I'm gonna find some shade here and uh, see if I can't help us go with a, a par end fed. It'd be a half, half wave, 20 meter. And uh, fire off some signals here. Some nice little views off here. We'll, uh, we'll do a drone shot off here and kind of give you a, it's an interesting shape uh, mountain here. So. Anyway, we're not going to get activated talking, so let's get cracking. Ah, okay. Set up in the shade. It took some work. I had to move my antenna so I could make it work out so I could sit in the shade. I got sap all over me and my watch and everything. All right, so, great. So, that's where I was bitch up see what we can do I'm using the par end fed because I have a little bit more it's longer and I have some other options uh, because I got the coax it makes um, life just a little bit easier uh, to, to do here that was smart Chris All right, we're out of the wind. Uh, we just completed Antelope Mountain. Antelope Mountain, <laughs> uh, AE22, and it's it was. Uh, I thought there was something wrong with my antenna. I couldn't hear anybody, and and I tried to chase, and I got four contacts on twenty. Uh, Josh couldn't even hear me up in Washington. Part of it, I think, was that mountain was right between me and Josh, so that made it more difficult. Rex was able to work me on 40. That gave me five contacts, and I did spend some time sitting up there cleaning my my key because it was corroded <laughs> oh, yeah. or something and got that working right because mm -hmm. that was pissing me off. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, the band conditions, I think, I didn't know it was my antenna or what. There was a lot of static on crackling on 40 meters so i think we were storming a little bit uh from this recent um coronal mass ejection and stuff how did you do it's pretty good yeah i think i ended up with 11 contacts 11 contacts <laughs> big deal <laughs> yeah how about that yeah bad? That's and you like had to struggle for those right? <laughs> yeah that was like the worst day i've ever had <laughs> so with cw it is easier to get contacts as as uh um, <laughs> my friend would say it's it's cheating but 
today the bands just were not cooperating. Even the solar flux is high, but um, I think we might have been in some storming conditions. So anyway, that's the way it works out. We got enough contacts to get activated with points. And uh, we're going to head out of here. If you're interested in learning more about the hobby, um, go to hamninja.com slash soda360, S-O-T-A 360. And there's a four-part series in there about planning and activating and everything. And there's another one in there also about chasing and some other stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, we're going to wrap up this uh, trio of peaks and say 73 and roll the credits. <laughs> Very good.